Welcome back to everyone, and as promised, we have two stars with us today. Frankie Fasone, uh, a 40-year career on stage, television, movies, amazing person, but the, the real talent in the family, <laughs> Jane Mandel, who is the uh, oh, executive uh, director, artistic, of, uh, director. artistic director of Luna Stage, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, has just done amazing things. And uh, we started to just kibitz as we were talking off camera. Uh, it's, it's interesting, your work that you've done at, at Luna and the things that you've written and put together because there's always a, an important social message. Maybe some stuff that's for entertainment kind of has that there subtly, uh, but but you're right there. The 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 work with the uh, the uh, with women, uh, with America, with racism. I'm gonna not go through all the titles, right. but uh, that's a theme with you, Jane. That that's that's a theme, I guess you could say. I mean, it's important to um, have theater that covers all the bases. I mean, it's always entertainment. There's always humor. It's life. You know, it reflects life and life. Um, we have a lot of issues in life that we face all the time in our society and. You know, the, that's important. These are going to be tough questions, I'm sure, because I, I imagine they're all like your children, which you guys have been married over 30 years and have three amazing children. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what, what is your favorite of the productions that you've put together? Oh, that's tough. That's tough. We, we've done so many. I mean, I guess for me personally, a lot of my heart is in the productions I have created from the ground up. I mean, they've been ideas I've had, and I've done outreach into the community to create them. So the first production that we did was about women. In the name of the woman, was a was a play that was about women uh, throughout history, and um, the American Project, the most recent one, was an idea of mine that has asked the question, "What does it mean to be an American?" And we we ended up doing that with middle and high school students, and it touched a nerve because it's very personal. We get to hear everyone's story. We get to. Um, put it on stage, so to speak, the way the project worked. And so that's these questions. Theater, you know, theater's for everyone. Well, you know, now Frank, you've been on, you know, Hollywood sets, on shoots in exotic places really all over the world, but I know a lot of your great work is also done locally right on Luna Stage. Yeah, absolutely. Talk about that a little bit. Well, I mean, you know, when you just ask her about to name, naming her most uh, favorite piece at Luna Stage, my mind just started to wander and go through the years of productions and things he's done. Um, it's, for me, I mean, I've had the opportunity to do Willie Loman in Death of a Salesman. I've had the opportunity to do Macbeth. I've had the opportunity to do um, just The Whipping, Man, the Whipping which Man, which is a world premiere, which will be performed in uh, New York at the um, Manhattan, Manhattan Theater, Theater Club. This season. It's been so many opportunities. I mean, you know, I the the commercial stage. I mean, commercial film TV is a is a commercial platform, but this is a platform of the artist from the heart. And I'm just so delighted that Jane has been able to realize this dream and keep it going for so many years and doing so many amazing works. Well, your uh, Shakespeare credits go back to the '70s. They do. And and, uh, uh, and now uh, you mentioned the uh, uh, television. Uh, you've got a new show you're filming now for Fox. I just finished filming an episode of Lie to Me uh, on Fox. It's uh, with Tim Roth. It's a wonderful little, wonderful little um, uh, episodic that uh, been running for three years. So that was fun. Now, now Jane, uh, you've had a, a big change in Luna uh, after I think about a 25-year history and, mm. and a good portion of that being in Montclair on mm -hmm. Bloomfield Avenue. Uh, you've come to uh, my favorite town, <laughs> uh, to, uh, to West Orange, to be a part of the Great Valley Arts District, connecting Orange, West Orange, and South Orange. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that's going. It's going very well. It's, there's a real, um, I call it a buzz, there's a real feeling there that um, the arts are important, that we want them to flourish. And I don't know, there's, there's a lot of artists all around the area, and there's a real uh, collaboration going on between you know, painters and, and doing art uh, in the street, you know, public art, doing our work and, and having you know, paintings from the community h hanging in our lobby. And I just, it's a good feeling. It's a feeling that it matters. That well, it's needed. Yeah, on the uh, my favorite, as you know, on the in the Luna Stage Theater is that big, beautiful uh, the mural on yes. the uh, on the side that's oh, got the whole neighborhood uh, mm -hmm. smiling. Yeah, and I believe we're going to be having a gallery moving into 
the gas station that's right next door to us, right behind us. That sounds really romantic. Yeah, yeah. the gas station we're putting <laughs> in. <laughs> but that's how it is. You know, and, and I'd, I'd have to, you know, uh, really encourage people to get down there because I, I, I think your building in and of itself is a piece of art, uh, notwithstanding the mural, but it's just so tastefully designed and the theater is beautiful, beautiful and uh, mm -hmm. not to mention the contents of what's going on there. What's going to be playing? How long is the season going to, to go? Well, we're having a full season this year. Our first show is up and running now, The Old Settler. And we're doing, after that, three more main stage productions, and they're all new works. Wow. So the second one coming up, opening at the end of November, is a one-man musical called And Then I Wrote a Song About It. It takes place in the 80s. It's, it's just a, this Nick Searley, the performer. We remember the, the 80s. <laughs> yeah. We kind of remember the 80s. <laughs> It's going to be a totally different look and feel in the theater. Um, a one-man musical. Yeah, a one-man musical. And it's, I'm going to have my bell concept. bottoms, and then what's uh, <laughs> next after that? And, and then um, in February, we're opening a play called Mercy and the Firefly, which is a new play by Amy Hartman, and um, it takes place in Pittsburgh. It's a play that's in the present now. And it's it's uh, it's just an, an amazing play. Interesting. Yeah. Pittsburgh's actually a very lovely city. Yeah, it is Pittsburgh. very it is. family oriented. Yeah. It's a lot like uh, West Orange. That, in a lot that's of ways. the uh, that's the case. Yeah. And then your uh, the the next. And our our final uh, production of main stage production is the tallest building in the world. It's about the building, the conception and the building of the World Trade Center, and that's going to be you know spring of 2011 in advance of the 10-year anniversary, of course, of 9-11. But it's, a, it's about looking back and about the whole concept for, this, for the Trade Towers. It's based in, in reality about how it was done. And it's, um, it's a very important uh, story. You know, right up the street in Orange, there's a, a, a steel company that is actually making now the, the steel work for the, the rebuilding, for of, the the, rebuilding. Of, the, of the Trade Towers. Well, you know, your work, just to hear about it, you know, the, usually that doesn't translate real well in a minute or two, but uh, it just sounds interesting. And, uh, oh, and, and uh, to draw you in just by hearing your descriptions on all three of those productions. And we're so lucky. We have this going on right on Valley Road in That's West right. Orange, Thank accessible you. to all, and will be happening, uh, you know, starting from the fall right through the, uh, yeah. right the late through, spring. That's right. Along with our education program and with our reading series and a lot of other things that go on in the building, music, you know, uh, literary lounge, things like that. We have a lot going on. So. Yeah. Now, now, Frank, I'm supposed to ask you a lot of questions that, that no. through, my, through my wife. Uh, she wants to know how Mick Jagger is like in real life, because I know he was in a, a movie with you. Yes. Uh, right down the line, everybody yeah. from Tom Selleck to, uh, yeah. you know, you name it, to uh, just about every famous, uh, world-famous actor and actress you know, we could think of. Worked with a lot of great people, and, you know, they're we just... Nice they're all, and yeah, that's what you have to say. They're all nice guys. You know, you, you never say anything bad about anyone. That's a, that's a good policy you know. for everyone. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm a work person who works. I love to go and work and then go home. You don't become best friends with people. You work with them. If they're professional in their work and you're professional, then it's a great relationship. We have your best friend sitting next to you. And this is my pal right here. Yeah. Always my best buddy. And along the line, I would like to just mention the fact that her theater is one that um, really invites and nurtures new playwrights. They need a platform and very most people they want to do proven works and stuff. No one wants to take a chance on new works. Jane has been always been one to invite, admire and to cultivate new works. And I think that that's oh. amazing. And also integrate it into the fabric of the neighborhood, which is what she's doing and, here. And then although I'm sure there were very proven writers, you know, you've been doing some cutting edge things, just the wire itself, mm -hmm. which, oh, yeah. you know, people recognize you as I think the, the chief of police the in that uh, the commissioner. Police, yeah. And, yeah. uh, and, and other works that have been, you know, unique to, uh, to at least television that yeah. we hadn't seen before that's really been special. Oh, yeah, it's been, that's uh, my, you know, all the things that I've done in my career, I've, I'm very proud of. I feel very fortunate, very lucky. And right along with that is my work that I've done at Luna Stage and the association with it and the way that, you know, she's been able to blossom into her own find her own find her own light you know and which is very important because i get it a lot because of the body of work that i've done but her time is more you know she's a worker you know about that you know I, the workers they don't get the praise they just sort of do well, the work she, but. She, it's a, it's your vision jane that's uh, blossomed uh, further and will yeah. continue to on uh, 
downtown West Orange with everybody coming uh, their way to be there. And uh, the two of you are really a pleasure to be around. Uh, well, the, thank you. Thank really, uh, thank you for uh, all the things that you'll do to continue to entertain us. We'll be uh, there. Here in this great state. <laughs> yes. Come back and see us again. Okay. And, uh, and you make sure you come see us again. Thank you for watching and have a great day today in New Jersey.